Hi, welcome to Books and Bocadillos. My name is Maria Andrea, and it's been a long time. The month of December and even the month of January were kind of crazy. Um, the last video I filmed was a kindness tag, and I intended to film a video that same week. I had a series of videos I wanted to film, but I got sick, and then I was just not feeling well for a little while, and then the holidays were upon us. I was baking a whole lot, like baking up a cookie storm. Um, I had family staying with us for a couple of weeks. It felt like a couple of weeks kind of come and go. Um, and lots going on, lots of wonderful family time, lots of activities happening those, um, weeks, the week leading up to Christmas and then the, the 12 days of Christmas, the two weeks following, um, and, and then I was meaning to film a video, um, last week, I think it was, or in the last two weeks and my setup wasn't working my camera was not recording and i just didn't know it was like a looks like it was a fluke because now it's working apparently so here i am and i intend to record three videos which i'm titling um the post holiday hangover part one two and three so this is part one and part one is the past so in this video i am going to share with you what's been going on have i have a bit of a gift haul get, like reading literary gifts i received um, over the holidays and um what i was reading and what you know up until now what what my reading projects have been so i am still doing the read what you own challenge and i can talk about that <laughs> more thoroughly but um i'm thinking I have like 10 or 11 books read from my shelves. My goal is 41. So slowly getting there. Um, and I'll probably share more on that in another video, probably in maybe the present <laughs> video. Um, but the past. So let's get started with a little bit of a book haul, more like a gift haul. So these are all things that I receive, nothing that I bought, but more that I received during the holiday season. So bear with me. I have my bag right here. Okay. Um, this is going to be fun. I haven't, obviously, like all these gifts, I've just kept in the back because I wanted to share my excitement with my friends on YouTube. So I everything's still here and it's I'm still really excited to to do all this stuff with the, you know these are like little stocking stuffers and goodies that my family and friends gave so my husband got me this little sticky notes um I love Alice in Wonderland it's like one of my favorite things and so and it, it has like sticker notes um yeah, this is while you were down the rabbit hole. So it's like for taking messages. Um, and then like, I love these character notes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this on my desk now because this is where it's going to live. And then I also got from my husband a vase. Um, it's like a plastic vase, the mystery of growth. Tell us everything is possible, a book about flowers. Um, so I'm, I don't know where I'm going to put this, somewhere on my shelves. Um, sorry, I keep getting distracted because I also got a new camera. So um, I'm not sure where to look. My eyes are probably going one way and the other, and it's going to take a little bit to get used to. But um, my camera used to be here, and now it's over here. So, um, so yeah. A flower base and like I mentioned he got me a camera um, that tilts because I do a lot of like journaling and I want to do some videos where I like maybe talk about the books I read and have my journal where I'm like writing or like journaling about the books so the camera can tilt down because I couldn't do that before and I sometimes feel like I would rather 
do that because I I like to keep track of what I read um, in a journal. And um, he got me this glow light. So I have a little glow light on the side and it was really nice. Um, he supported of <laughs> this YouTube adventure. Um, he also got me this book. So I'm into Dracula. I love Dracula. He loves Dracula. It's like a shared um, book that we both really enjoy. We like talking about. We, we've both read. And he found this edition. He thought it was really nice. Um, it's got the, the spredges, as they say. Um, and it's really cool um, pages. The, I can't remember what they're called, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really nice print. It's not, it's, I sound like an old lady, but it's not too small print. I really like, I feel like as I get older, it's just harder to, to read really tiny print. And so this is a little bit larger print. So it's really nice on the eyes and yeah, time marches on, <laughs> but um, I'm happy for this, like, like a, more of a collector's edition of Dracula. Um, okay. I'm taking things out of the bag. So then I'm like, I don't want to put everything back in. My, my BFF got me a tote. I break for little libraries. I my my one of my dreams is to have a free little library set up outside my house. And I um, re recently, just in the last few weeks, rejoined my HOA association, my HOA board. So I'm on the board now. I'm hoping I can get that approved um, during the time that I'm on the board. Hopefully. We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm excited to use this tote. Thank you, BFF. I don't think she watches, but if she does, thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, these are breakables. So my husband got me another vase, the secret garden. I love flowers and gardening. So he got me this little like porcelain vase. The back it says if you look the right way you can see that the whole world is a garden so this is very pretty can't wait to get some flowers in it i'll just put it here for now <laughs> although now that i see it on my desk it could also work for like pens and like bookmarks so maybe maybe i'll just put bookmarks and pens in it we'll see um I think he also got me this one. I'm like, who gave me this one? It still has the Barnes & Noble sticker. I think my husband also put this in my stocking. Books for breakfast. I'm always reading a book. I always have a book next to me. I've mentioned this before here on, on BookTube that I like going to this restaurant during my lunch breaks. And um, the chef always comes out and he's like, what are you reading? I'm always like eating and reading or eating and watching booktube. <laughs> so um, books for breakfast made with 100% creative fuel. It's a cute mug. I can't wait to use it. I'll take the sticker off, but okay. Mm, running out of space to put stuff. Um, oh, yeah, he also got me this one. Like, I was so spoiled this year. Like my stocking was overflowing. He like went all out with stocking stuffers. He got me this candle. It smells really great. It's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland because I love Alice. And it has nuts of nutmeg, geranium, and incense. It's a soy blend candle. When you open it, it says, imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. And it smells so good. I'm gonna put this one on my desk now. So it's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, and it has all the Alice um, images. Oh gosh, I love this. I love Alice. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put this right here by the window for now. And 
my cousin was so like amazing. I squealed when I opened her gift. She gave me a few little goodies. Um, so I think these next three are from her. So she gave me this Cueless. Has anybody played this? So this is a solitaire game. It's the Crosswood Solitaire game. It's 12 dice and it's, it sounds like it's a lot of fun. So you open it, it's a little tin and it has these dice with letters. I haven't played it yet. It says, um, the inventor says, after many years, I still play Cueless almost every day. It reminds me that what looks impossible probably isn't as long as I keep an open mind and don't give up. Tom Sturdivant, inventor. P.S. A good dictionary comes in handy too. Dice are a choking hazard. Yes, they are. So I saw this on the Parnass Parnassus Bookstore website. And I thought I want this. And I had put it in the cart. But then I was like, ah, it was before the holidays. And I was like, I'm not really shopping for me. I'm shopping for other people. So I'm not going to order them yet. I'm going to just kind of put them on my like wish list. And then to like... Christmas morning, open up my a gift from my cousin and see these, this little game. I am super excited. Maybe when I figure out how to play. Okay, well, this is how you play. Roll the dies and use all 12 letters to make words that connect. Words must have at least three letters, no proper nouns, no time limit. Most rolls are solvable, but not all caution cues can be addictive. So, yeah, maybe... I'll film me playing this at some point, but I'm really excited. Yes to an addictive game. Yes. I used to be addicted to Wordle, but then I lost my streak and I kind of felt a little bitter and I stopped playing. Um, and then I'll save like the coolest thing for last, but I think she got me this candle too. It's a coffee bean and oat milk latte vegan candle it smells so good it smells so sweet so I guess I'm putting my candles on my win windowsill and this thing was amazing so I'll show you the box it's, I already take, took it out and I haven't put it back in so it's a 100 books scratch-off poster that was inside so this is what it is it's like a big lotto ticket um so it's basically the 100 books of all time and genres and this was kind of her invitation to, hey, let's do this together. She says she got one for herself too. And so her goal this year is to read 100 books. I don't, the last time I set a goal of 100 books was a few years ago. I didn't reach it. I don't read 100 books a year. I range between 50 to 80 books a year. But did I say yes? I said yes, yes. I, I just put 100 books as like an aspirational number am i going to like torture myself to get there no am i going to like really like make it a serious thing probably not i really really love reading and i always want to have fun doing it so i am competitive and i think maybe that's why i don't drive myself as much with reading goals because I don't want to let my competitive nature take over. <laughs> I want to put um, joy over achievement. So yeah, I am very geared towards achievements and I don't want that, that to be the drive in my reading life. So I kind of try not to, not to let it, but um, I am really excited to have my cousin who loves to read, who is also like a huge reader like me, um, say like, hey, let's do this together. And she's probably going to get to 100. Yeah, 
I think no contest. I'm not even like trying to compete with her in that goal. I told her I would join her and that I would read the books just so that we could read it together and like motivate each other and talk, have something to talk about. Like what book did you start with? What are you reading? So um, where am I with time? 15 minutes. Okay. I'm just going to list these books out like quickly. His Dark Materials, haven't read. The Da Vinci Code, haven't read. Lolita, haven't read. The Sound and the Fury, haven't read. Invisible Man, haven't read. To the Lighthouse, haven't read. Iliad and Odyssey, I've read. The Green Mile, have not read. The Big Sleep, have not read. The Picture of Joy and Grey, half read. Night, haven't read. Rabbit Run by John Updike, have not read. The Godfather, have not read. All the King's Men, have not read. Charlotte's Web, have read. Heart of Darkness, haven't read. The Color Purple, Purple, have read, but I'm probably going to want to reread that. I want to watch the new um, movie that came out, the adaptation. So that's probably going to be a reread. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Um, haven't read them completely. That's that's to be read. A Clockwork Orange. Have not read. Paradise Lost. Have not read. The Bible. I read, but I probably should reread. Um, the Lord of the Rings. Uh, have not read. The Red and the Black. Have not read. Frankenstein. I've read, and I would be happy to reread re Frankenstein. Little Red Book. Have not read. Also by Mary Shelley. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Have not read. Anna Karenina. Have read. I'm doing a reread of that, but not for this. Like, I'm just slowly rereading it. It's a long book. Leviathan. Have not read. Silent Spring. I have on my Kindle. I've been meaning to read. Have not read. Definitely. Maybe we'll start with that one. One of That'll be probably one of the first ones I pick up. Gone with the Wind. Have not read. Pride and Prejudice. I have read. The Divine Comedy, I have read. Gulliver's Travels, have not read. The Old Man in the Sea, have not read. Hamlet, have read. Probably will be rereading Hamlet. Fahrenheit 451, I have read. Winnie the Pooh, have not read. Wild Saragosso Sea, have not read. Leaves of Grass, have not read. In Search of Lost Time, have not read. The Souls of Black Folk, have not read. Light in August, have not read. To Kill a Mockingbird, I read last year. Uh, Midnight's Children, have not read. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, I haven't read. I'm not really, it was a book that I didn't, it wasn't assigned to me. Like certain classrooms read that book and the classroom that I was in the year that it was being read in, in middle school, um, I didn't, I wasn't assigned to it. So I never read it and never really felt like I wanted to, but it's on here, probably need to read it. The Great Gatsby, I read and reread and will reread. A Passage to India, I haven't read. The Little Prince, I have read. The Age of Innocence, I haven't read. The Day of the Locusts, have not read. Eminent Victorians, have not read. Three Comrades, have not read. I, Claudius, have not read. Mrs. Dalloway, I have started, have not finished. Kim, have not read. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I read that a long time ago. Mm, I could reread that, I think. I, the Interpretation of Dreams, have not read. Port Noise Complaint, have not read. Song of Solomon, have not read. Middlemarch, I'm currently reading. The Education of Henry Adams, have not read. Lord Jim, have not read. Death Comes to the Archbishop, that's on my to read list this year. As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner, have not read. The Golden Notebook, have not read. Animal Farm, I have read. The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, I have read. Goodbye to all that have not read. The varieties of religious experience have not read. A handful of dust have not read. The affluent society I haven't read. War and Peace I haven't read. Madame Bovary I haven't read. Tropic of Cancer have not read. Brave New World I've read. Othello I've read. One Hundred Years of Solitude I've read. Capital by Karl Marx have not read. The Prince have not read. No, I'm thinking The Little Prince. No. Confessions, have not read. Sons and Lovers, have not read. An American Tragedy, have not read. The Maltese Falcon, have not read. On the Road by Jack Kerouac. I don't think I've read this one. I think I've been wanting to read it for a long time. I think I wanted to read it in high school. I don't think I got to it. Go Tell It on the Mountain, that one I actually have and I've been meaning to read. So that's probably one of the first books I'll read from this list. The Autobiography of Malcolm X, I haven't read. The Second World War, I haven't read. In Cold Blood, I have on my list. I've been meaning to read, I haven't read yet, but it's on my shelves. I wanna read it very much. For Whom the Bell Tolls, have not read. 
History of the Peloponnesian War. Haven't read. Moby Dick. Ah, oh, I really want to read Moby Dick. I haven't read it. No, I'll tell you later. There's a story about Moby Dick that I want to show later. The Three Musketeers. Um, have not read. Democracy in America. Have not read. The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. No, I think I've. My husband has it on his shelves. I've perused it, but haven't read it. Um, Slaughterhouse Five. I have read. Lord of the Flies, I have read. 1984. Oh, 1984. <laughs> 1984, I 60% read in high school. Uh, not even 60%. I read it in high school. I tried reading it in high school. It was one of our summer reading assignments. Confession here. I, I didn't. I didn't have time to read the book. And I did the Cliff's Notes. And I got a D on my exam. I need to read it. Harry Potter, I've read. Catch-22, I have on my shelves. We have two copies of Catch-22. We each have a copy. I haven't read it. The Master and Margarita, have not read. So most of these books I haven't read. And I have a lot of reading to do. So yeah, that is the Christmas gift haul. Okay, 21 minutes left. Uh, this only allows me to record 30 minutes at a time. So I'm going to probably cut this here and then do another video in which I talk about, continue the conversation about the past. And I'm going to share with you what ended up happening with my end of year bingo. Did I do a bingo? And the Guadalupe Reina's um, reading challenge, reading marathon that I participated in very last minute. And I loved and want to continue to participate in that reading event every year annually. So um, I'll talk about those two and also my book club and buddy reads in the month of December slash January. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more past content.